Mike Flex, and, and I'm in and I'm the Cosmo. studio with Cosmo, the comedian. What it is, y'all, what it is. And we have another fantastic show. I know you guys have been waiting. We, since last week, now we're here this week. We have a special guest. He's still stuck on the freeway, the 10 freeway. So, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> these IE streets, baby. Uh, unless he knows how to take the back roads, it might be a little minute, but with the creator, hopefully he can get here in time. But we got Cosmo, my man. Eric in there, in there holding me down. We got Porsche in the background holding me down. We're going to have another great day. Today is Tuesday. A lowly Tuesday. Aren't you happy? Um, it's not hump day yet. No, no, no. Because I'm waiting to hump. Tuesday's good enough for me. <laughs> when it's close to the hump day, I'm, I'm still happy. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm half humping it right now. <laughs> it's a half hump. How was your week? What did you do? What happened last week? Did you perform? Well, how was your week? Man, my week has been just, I've been running around, getting ready. I've been doing a lot of people's music. A lot of y'all don't know this Cosmo is a music producer. So I have a lot of like music that I do. And I also have a nine to five, but I also got a lot of comedy. I got the um, Palm Springs Memorial Day weekend bash, a whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We got mad celebs, we got food. Don't miss this one, don't miss this one. Hosted by Cosmo, it's, it's gonna be off the hook. Well, we definitely have some information on passes to get to that event, if you wanna get to that event out, out there in Palm Across Springs. Um, Mickey Brown sent the text and she said, okay, these cats can get in only if they follow this script. So we're gonna let you guys know how the script goes, uh, who you have to pay, who you have to rub shoulders with in order to get into this three day bashment that's going down in Palm Springs, but we'll get to you. Um, definitely follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Follow Cosmo the Comedian on Facebook, Mike Flex. Cosmo Comedian, Facebook, uh. Yeah, why you don't have a TikTok? Um, I don't kind of, I don't really like TikTok. You know TikTok? I, I like everything else but TikTok. Okay. Well, what about MySpace? You got MySpace? Yes. <laughs> Same thing. Cosmo <laughs> Comedian. On MySpace. Now, you might have to pull out that old computer and dust it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, put some oil in it. Yeah, and then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> You might find it. Um, what's going on in the IE right now? Let me put up a script, but there was one story that I definitely wanted to talk about real quick you in the local that. area. Um, some, uh, student, not student, some teacher was messing with the students again. Oh, man. It's not a bad thing. Pause. Wait a minute. Very bad. You know. <laughs> hey, that wasn't me. That was, hey, Carlo, did I, I say that? I didn't say that out loud. What I meant was... There's a mathematics to it. Did you not have a crush on a high school student that you was coming up? A uh, high school student, high school teacher? Yes, I was, did. But you know what? That is as far as it went because back in our day, we were kids. That was just unheard of. I mean, how many teachers did you see trying to uh, touch on you when you were a kid? None. All of them. No. Okay. See, once again, my flex was, <laughs> he's ready to start some controversy. Oh, I, I'm answering the phone. He, it's RJ Paul, so keep talking. So Man, you never had an interest in uh, the teacher. Never had an interest okay. in you. That's what you're trying to say. No, no. no teacher. I thought from zero teacher, grade yes. to twelfth grade. I thought there was a teacher that was cute. Yes, Mrs. Mrs. Richardson. But that's as far as it went. It was it was innocent. It was a little crush. She she used to grade my paper, and I I listen. I smell her perfume and smile. But after all that, uh, ain't, no, ain't no get down like that. Yeah, I know this. We're catching RJ. Come, 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 come around if you're here. Why are we catching women? No, no. I'm gonna send uh, Portia outside. She's coming to the back door. Are, right you, now. are you wearing the big hat? Are you wearing the big hat? No, I'm not. Okay. It's a big. It's a big brother. Yeah. Uh, um, parking lot, but she's coming out there. Is she's a beautiful woman. She's in a gray yeah, jacket. In gray jacket, you cannot talk to her like that. Please don't. I'll see you in a second, bro. All right, I'll see you in a second, brother. <laughs> but that's what I'm yeah. saying. So no teachers messing with no, you? No, man. You didn't have no crushes, no teacher was, was crushing I mean, on you? It was innocent. It was innocent. Nothing like that happened like in the 80s. That wasn't the thing. That, that wasn't the business. 
Pause. Did you say you went to high school in the 80s? <laughs> that was 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Wait, no. When Jesus walked the earth. I'm talking about junior high school in the 80s. Oh, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> yeah. But that just never happened because, like, women back in the day would risk their career, their mm -hmm. job, their 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 lives. Their for fifteen yeah. to twenty dollars an hour job. Yeah, for some little kid. What was he gonna do with this three inch killer anyway? Well, he's gonna kill some. Well, anyways, but the bad part about it was, or well, the bad part about it is, this is. Uh, this is a situation that's continuously going on. Yeah. Um, once this story dies, guess what? Next week, we're going to have another same story. So is it part of our culture? Is it part of how we are as human beings that the young lady, I mean, the old, older ladies like the young men? So if that's the case, me being in my 40s, uh, what would be the age group for, uh, you know what I'm saying, the older women messing with me? Would, would I have to diddly with the... The ladies in the 60s and 70s? I don't know it's because, like, you know, digging at the old folks' home is not, you know, that might be the new thing, too. They got yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs> they want to pay for my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> you so, trying to take grandma's money? Hey, man. We got we to do what we got to do. I know what I do notice. You haven't caught no black women. No, because they like that uh, income. Yeah. Coming in. You ain't going to never every catch week. no woman risking her life her church her children her everything for some kid at a school i type if, if you look on the youtube type of all the women caught in california with young boys it's all white women from the age of 28 to 45. and well, they, so, they look kind of all right though yeah of course they're, they're, not, they're not the dusty old you know what i'm saying the, uh uh miss doubtfire looking type characters come on in you baby know? grab a seat grab a seat come on in the don dada the don dada yeah, they're not the same type of, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire with the, you know, because that yeah, right there, our obviously, teachers were ugly. Our would teachers were be ugly. like, no, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah. Teachers are fine. Our teachers were ugly. These ones right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. something yeah. for the boys. Um, as a parent, I would definitely uh, take offense to this. Um, I have a daughter, but if I had a son, I think it would be on the same level where I would hold them accountable. I think all these women that's messing with these young boys need to you know suffer the same consequences mm -hmm. that everybody else suffers you know what i'm saying if, if, the, if the older dudes um in the colleges are messing with the younger girls well, same thing put them behind bars let them you know what i'm saying uh pay for their transgressions yeah but what boy is going to convict his teacher I'm hooking him up in the gym. I'm saying. Did, did, did she hook the boy? Did she hook? Did she hook up her homeboys? His homeboys? Because if she hooked up the whole crew, then you know what I'm saying we ain't worked. You know okay. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell my teacher that if she did. She did hook me up. I'm not gonna tell. Yeah, but you're different. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm. Uh, you're different. You're different. You're a different person. And everything. But so let's get into it. Uh, we're 15 past the hour and all of a sudden the don dada walked in mm -hmm. and i was promoted like, hey, yesterday i was promoted yesterday this is the don what is you don't understand it i, I got see. i got issues and i'm i'm gonna I'm air my issues right now with you bro we have a special guest in here if you don't know who i'm talking to he goes by the name of rj polo man he represents the whole West Coast. Mm. Yeah, I'm putting him up on that like that. Oh, so, no! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Mr. RJ, yes. brother. Um, I knew about the whole situation, but I didn't know you personally. And me and my wife was at a concert, comedy concert in Ontario Improv. And that's when I first saw you handing out your flyers to get the customers from the improv over to your nightclub. And that's when I turned my back and my wife was talking to you, son. I'm in line, my wife is not there. She's talking to you, she's getting the flyer. And the number and up. I, well, no. I, I, I would say this much. Yeah. There he was, looked like there, the guy that get your girl's number. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was a feeling of saltiness in me for a quick second just a quick, quick second, second. Okay. and i was like who is this brother what, what's going on so i got the information 
I get back to the house. I didn't talk to my wife for the rest of the night. And then, um, yeah, uh, maybe two weeks. And then, what kind of cars he got? Uh, he, he got the big ones. Uh, but, but, but this is this is what I wanted to say. It, um, I was talking to a good friend of ours, Big D. Rest in peace. Me and him was chatting. I was like, Yo, who is this dude over here making all this big noise? And he had to pull me back into reality and say, yo, he's been here, he's been doing it, he's from the turf, you don't remember X, Y, and Z. And I was like, oh, I do remember them. I remember them, but now we're here now. And when me and Big D talked, all ego went out the window, all um, saltiness went out the window. I'm here to support and represent, and anything that you got going on, I'm down for it because i know who you are and, I, and and the reason why i wanted you here is because me and you've talking on the phone a couple of times and besides the big stuff you're doing you got other stuff going on that i felt the world should know about so before we get into it i want to know the whole script from beginning to end rj polo is on the mic sir when did this how did this who are you? What's going on? <laughs> Who are you, Miko? Who are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, mic check. Y'all hear me now? Oh, yeah, we got right, you. For sure, for sure. Uh, first and foremost, guys, thank you for uh, having me. Um, it started, oh, uh, man, mm. all the way back in Pomona. Pomona, California. There we go. Yeah. That's where I come from. Mm -hmm. What part? P-Town. Okay, okay. P-Town. Actually about Indian Hills. Okay, Kenesha Hills. Uh-huh. Kenesha Hills. Uh, I went to Kenesha High School. Uh, way back in the day, my father, rest in peace, who was alive back then, uh, he was the one who actually gave me the, uh, the blueprint for what I do today. Uh, this is actually right before he passed away. That was his, That's cool. So that was this legendary club that everybody went to. Club Metro. Oh, oh man! I was gonna bring it up, but keep talking. All right, Club Metro. And let me tell you, the first time I went to Club Metro, I was intimidated. Mm. I mean, if you guys remember, there was three sides, right? Yeah, yes. restaurant. Oh, no, 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 restaurant. It had the different the genres, different, right? Yeah, uh -huh. the yeah the Mexican side, mm -hmm. Mexican or the white white people side. Mm -hmm. Well, the Mexican side, white people side, the black side. The Mexican side and white side and all the AC, right? <laughs> hey, remember, hold on. <laughs> the black side had no air conditioning, no, ice hold on, water. Hold on. And, and, this, and just for a little backup reference, before that, I was a choir guy. I was I was in church. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was traveling. What church? St. Stephen's Missionary Baptist Church. Okay. Baptist. I can tell you what he said. He said in West, church. In West Covina. You know, I was a tenor, but I could sing six different octaves back then. Oh, you know, super. but you know. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's Prince. Yeah, that's he can Prince. play every instrument. I, I, yeah, I can't play nothing. I can't play all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, um, going back to uh, Club Metro, on the black side, it was hot, it was sweaty, people were dancing hard, and I wasn't confident. I felt like I needed to be over there. I was like, I need to go home and practice my dance moves, because mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. So I went on the Mexican side. I, Shit over there it was AC, whatever. I went home, turned on my uh, video soul, you know, and watched my music videos. Got my, got my, uh, you know, my dance moves up. And, and when I got back to the metro a couple weeks later, it was popping, and we had me and the priest to do, you know, the, the teenage games, see how many numbers we can get tonight. Yeah. Oh you know, man. You know what I mean? So we would do that. Next thing you know. My mm -hmm. phone. We didn't have, uh, we didn't have cell phones back then. We just had Somebody had the brick. Somebody had the brick. No, we didn't. Was, was the brick. Brick. When did the brick come out? The brick was in like. What? It, it was already out. Yeah. I didn't have it. I was, no, no. I was yeah. working at McDonald's yeah. back then. Yeah. Minimum wages. <laughs> minimum wages is four dollars and twenty five cents an hour. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's four so, bucks. So check this out. So, so what ended up happening is, uh, my phone was ringing. And my dad was like, why are all these girls calling the house? Mm -hmm. I'm like, dad, don't even worry about it. You know, it's something we got going on. Mm -hmm. And it was that one day, that one day, it was after, it was a Saturday. I got all these numbers and I'm like, okay, I finally got this girl. We about to go to the movies, but guess what? My pockets was like rabbit ears. I didn't have no more money. I just take my money to love. <laughs> I go to my father and say, dad, I need some, I need some money. He said, why? I said, because I'm going to take this girl on a date. 
He was all hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. You ain't spending no money, none of my money or no bribe. What you gonna do is you gonna sit back. If you wanna entertain a couple couple little companies, you can have your friends come over and kick it. But what we're gonna do is you gonna have your own function. And all them women, it's all those women that are actually calling you. And so, 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 when your father said that, did you was there a question mark in your mind, like how am I gonna pull this off? Or, or no, I sat back. You, and you, I, you, I sat back and I listened. And he said, he said one of your friends. Uh, shouts out to uh, to DJ Itchy, mm -hmm. DJ Itchy Pomona. That was my first DJ. Uh, he's actually uh, gonna be at my I birthday party on Friday. Yeah. And he used to mess with the urban gorillas. You know him? Like yeah. 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 He's a uh, he's a uh, uh, cocaine's DJ now. Uh, oh, he's a cocaine dealer. No. no. Oh. <laughs> the rapper. Oh, rapper. My bad. My bad. My bad. I don't want anybody to get the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, P Town, yeah. right? Yes. There we go. And um, he was my DJ because he had the uh, all the steer equipment because his father was a DJ. Uh, and of course, we had the clientele, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Look, there's a couple rules. You don't have no parties at the house mm -hmm. because you don't want everybody to know where you live. Also, you don't uh, you don't sell dope, but don't ever sell no dope at your house mm -hmm. because that's what we're not going to do. Yeah. That's so, good. so that's basically, good. yeah, you don't you don't shit what you eat. Can I cut straight? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. Anyway. All right, this yeah. is radio. <laughs> Beep. All right, yeah, my yeah, man. This is radio. So <laughs> you don't uh, you don't. All right, you don't, uh, you don't crap where you eat. Better, thank you. All right, so other than that, the um, first city function was back in 1994. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna tell people how old I was in 94, but I was around. Yeah. Keep going. And it was in Rancho Cucamonga off of Hermosa and Foothill. And back then, there, were no, there was no social media. We just had flyers. Mm -hmm. And we went to Kinko's, we printed up our flyers, four on one page, cut them up. Mm -hmm. And and to be honest with you, I was I, I was kind of uh, uh, shook. I was like, damn, I'm going to have to give a, a stranger a flyer? Mm -hmm. And I'm just, you know, mustering up enough courage. And what made me always feel comfortable was just singing a song in my, in my mind. Mm -hmm. And made me put a little extra pep in my step. And once I got familiar with it, it was just getting easier and easier and more comfortable, right? Pause, so, pause, pause. <laughs> what was the song that you was playing in your mind while you were passing out the flyers? What was it? It was like, I'm a gangster, uh, I'm a lover man. What, what was your favorite sport to? Oh, man, I'm, I'm a music lover. So I think back then in the 90s, R. Kelly, you got that vibe. <laughs> you got that vibe. You got that vibe. Yeah, you know, you it's know. not the one where vibe. you know you're old enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're old enough, yeah. you know. But <laughs> he, he wasn't messing with little kids then. Yeah, when yeah. Vibe was out. But you know, that's that's where I, that's where it began. My very first function, and it was, it, I mean, it was overly packed. I mean. I mean, we were kids, and there were like people coming up in taxis. It was grown people. Everybody was just—it was—it mm -hmm. was—it was, it was amazing. So then we uh, started to elevate, rent out different halls and whatnot, and we started moving like the Mount Sac after parties, Mount Sac relays. There used to be a lot of party crews, and people used to support each other. And uh, there was uh, back in the day, you had uh, Big D was with Sexy Fire Dog. Shouts out to you guys. Fire Dog. Uh, you had uh, you had. Uh, 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 with uh, Algernon and them, so that, that was what uh, D was in first. Yeah, he was with them. Of course, my, my crew was called Polo. Mm -hmm. It was uh -huh. a Polo crew. So that's where the name comes had, from. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's where it came from. So it's RJ Polo Man. Uh, you also had a, a crew called Gap, another one, uh, Fats. Uh, you had uh, Anonymous. Uh, those are just different uh, party crews. Cat Daddy, shouts out to you guys. Mm -hmm. Paul. Did you have any crews out there called Miller Outposts? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. The FCC uh, gonna call in, huh? Yeah, my bad, my bad. But uh, we just kept on growing and expanding. And, uh, and every holiday season, it seemed like it was this big, uh, big thing when, when uh, friends and family were coming home from from their different uh, areas in the nation. They were just like clicking up, you know, everybody get together. Hey, what's RJ doing tonight? Mm -hmm. And it just became like a, a tradition. And um, uh, then once that. I started to get uh, older and mature, uh, and I ended up uh, started having children, uh, it became more of a, a business, uh, business mind, business savvy. So you had to 
be uh, more creative on mm -hmm. on uh, making more uh, dollars. So with that, what's going on? What's that? Nah, that's him. So what's up, Yeah, yeah. Keisha yeah. sexy. Hey, Keisha, what's up, baby? Man, we ain't talking to Keisha right now. <laughs> All right, so so uh, so at the end of the day, um, we started growing, and um, then I was working with a DJ Maestro. Mm -hmm. Jam and Maestro. Yeah. yeah. And Maestro was at Euphoria. Uh -huh. I said, man, I want to do a, I want to do a, uh, uh, a birthday party. He said, uh, well, what, 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 what kind of theme you want to do? I was throwing out some ideas. He was like, no, brother, you classy. You can do all white. Do the Gemini and white party. And I was like, mm -hmm. I actually said do an all white party. My, 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 my guy uh, shocked the world entertainment out there in, uh, uh, out there in Oak City. He was like uh, Arthur Ingram. Shouts out to you, man. He was like, uh, he said, man, uh, he made the flyer. The first one he said, he put Gemini in his wife. And I was like, that has a ring to it. Mm -hmm. you know, back then we used to take different celebrities and artists and put the artists on the flyer mm -hmm. uh, because it's um, the type of genre of music we was doing. But nowadays, the artist wasn't showing up. Huh? Heck no. <laughs> but that's all right. No. The people showed up. Yeah, they I mean, came, they came out. a lot of fights. I remember we had Sugar Free. He was from Pomona one night. He didn't show up. Mm. And that's when he first was out. And everybody wanted to come see him. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I've been there before. I've they been saw, there. They saw me instead and then asked for their money back. <laughs> right. So now, so now we have Jim and I in white. Um, this year, uh, we're having, uh, well, actually this Friday, yeah. uh, my birthday party. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We're having uh, Jim and I in white at the... Uh, the uh, multi-million dollar establishment, the mix champagne lounge. That's mm -hmm. that right there. So obviously the I got obviously yeah, yeah, obviously I got the flyer after me and my wife reconciled. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, man. That's all good. It's all good. You know, it happens all the time. You know? It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Okay, all right. So I fall in there without her, obviously. Uh, with the homeboys and I was taken back by how the aesthetics and how beautiful the whole establishment is Thank so um, You partnered with the owners of it. I heard rumor. It's a couple black people. They oh, are they are African-american. There we uh, go the, uh, his, wife, his, wife, his, wife is, uh, his wife is his wife is actually African. Oh, Mr. Kiru boss lady. Two up. Hey, That's shout out to you you know, London, good, hey, very good Come people. Come to the club. <laughs> no, I don't speak like that. Let me tell you where to go. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, don't make fun of me, man. God damn. Hey, what that mean? It was Mike Flex. Don't be beep, don't be beep, beep. It was Mike Flex. <laughs> man, but yeah, man, they, they're really good people. Uh -huh. uh, very hospitable. And uh, man, we have a, a great, fruitful relationship, you know. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad as one of ours is actually doing what you're doing because um, out here, obviously, we don't get all those Hollywood types, and you are the guy that brings them out here. Um, myself and my wife, my wife, we went to the Little Kim, and it was fantastic. She good. Yeah. It's good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I didn't get too close to the stage, but we had a good time. Oh. I'm not taking my wife back there because some guy in the wheelchair was hitting on my wife. You know what? He was in the wheelchair. Let me tell you. Well, we don't like one do. But let, let me tell you, when my wife is there in the establishment, mm -hmm. um, for the people that don't know, mm -hmm. they'll of course approach uh, approach my wife. But it's uh, it's definitely uh, a uh, an honor for someone to actually uh, have the courage to approach my wife because. My wife is popping. She bad. That's so, what's up. And she represents me well. That's what's up. It's, it's an honor. It is an honor. That's why I be working out every day. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yeah. I don't want the honor. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. You don't want the honor? Uh-uh. Stay away. Eric, right, we're coming up on a half random commercials and we're going to come right back. This is Casual Conversation with Mike Flex, Cosmo. I got RJ Polo in the building. Ooh wee. Do it. Mike Flex, and I am so honored to tell you about EYS, that's Envision You Services, out of the greater Los Angeles area. Envision You Services has been operating since 2018, supporting underserved youth and mentorship for young adults. They believe that support and engagement is very crucial. 
support is self-esteem, community responsibility, integrity, and social development. Sign up, get on the list, and get to know Envision Youth Services. That's Envision with an E. Youth Services. www.envisionyouthservices.org I go by the name Mike Flex. And my friend Di Landscape What's the Word podcast introduced me to Crenshaw Wear. Located at 6526 Crenshaw Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. Home of Rich Bear Clothing Brand. There's Rich Bear Louis Edition, Rich Bear OG Bear Edition, Rich Bear Jumpman Edition, and Nipsey Hustle Crenshaw Wear Edition. In that spirit, every race can be a Rich Bear. From relaxing sweatsuits to stepping out on the town tonight. Rich Bear fits all occasions. Go to richbearclothing.com and follow Crenshaw Wear on social media. That's richbear.com and follow social media print your wear. I go by the name of Mike Flex and I was scrolling through my social media sites. And if you're anything like me, you're into luxury timepieces. I found a company by the name of 17 Watches by Chris Johnson. He is a 17-year veteran of the U.S. Army, and his story is unbelievable. Keep in mind, you can't buy class, but you can afford style. 17 Watches by Chris Johnson on all social media sites. I go by the name Mike Flex. When I became a dad, I insisted I actually encouraged my daughter to try a new sport every year. I wanted her to learn teamwork, how to win and lose with grace, and build her self-esteem. So I'm telling you about IV Sportsnet, on Fox Sports Radio, and the iHeartRadio app. Radio host Coach B and Attorney does a fantastic job of showcasing youth sports. They get the coaches to bring the kids into the studio, roll out the red carpet, and treat those kids like superstars on their platform. Check out their new magazine. They have hundreds, they have hundreds of videos and podcast shows to view on their website. The official play-by-play announcers for the Ontario Clippers is Ice Sportsman, the Inner Empire Sports Authority, available on Fox Sports Radio 1350 and the iHeartRadio app worldwide. That's why I'm telling you about IE Sportsnet, on Fox Sports Radio and the iHeartRadio app. back all right we're back we're back and we have in the studio rj polo man what up what up i, I said rj polo man <laughs> yeah that's it rj polo man, man you took me right back there. with the club scene i mean you said metro, metro. yes well actually okay, I, didn't, I didn't i didn't shout out to everybody though okay run me through it because i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna try and take it all the way back to um are you familiar with Harry C's? Of course. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, okay. That was, that was a little bit before me, but Harry you was around there. Yeah, yeah, Club yeah. Monopolies. You did you remember Monopolies on the east side? But yeah. nonetheless, yeah, that was getting shot out. Nonetheless. Um Hey, real quick. Yeah. Shots out to my brother, rest in peace, Jamal of J and P. That is and the shots shots out. Let's shots talk out. about Hold that. Shouts mm-hmm. out to Big D. Mm-hmm. Sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I, um, I think of all the conversations that we've always had um, over the years, whether uh, good or bad. One thing that worked with Jamal and I, we argued every other day. It's like brothers. Because iron sharpens iron. <clears throat> orange sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. Uh, shouts out to Bill Proctor. You know, he just passed away. Ernest McIntyre, he passed away too. Uh, like all those fallen angels, man. Mm-hmm. But they guess what? They here with us. Yes. Uh, we rocking. You know, when uh, when I'm when I'm when I'm in the middle of uh, my set and I grab the mic, mm-hmm. you know, certain things that Big D would say, uh, I make sure that I uh, I, I uh, hold it to high regard and speak to it as if he would. You know what I'm saying? He spoke highly of you, Thank you. in our yeah, conversation. He said you were the man. You are the man right when now. First meet Big D. Big D, I was a man, I was a youngster, man. Yeah, yeah, All of us. Well, I was in college with him. That's what well, I was, man. Man, Big D, we met. Uh, he was sexy fire dog, and I was polo, man. What part of him was I think sexy? It, I, think, I think it was that. <laughs> what part of him was that? You no. big hold on, listen, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Big D, hold on. Big D, hold on. Big D, he had a lot of 
uh, a lot of admirers, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Big D so was Big D for a reason. Wait, wait, wait. Is it just because his name is Big D? <laughs> is that <laughs> no, just no, because his name is Demetrius Mayo? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's he's right. learning, he's learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, other than that, though, man, um, shouts out to them. Shouts out to all the current promoters. Hey, shouts out to O Love. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to uh, 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 my man uh, DJ D'Amico over there. I love chicken and waffles and sandwiches. Oh, you yeah, know? man. That's you my know? man You know, right uh, shouts out to uh, DJ uh, Ambition or Pooh. He has a barbershop down there in, uh, in Riverside. Shouts out to you. Uh, man, shouts out to everybody out there. DJ shouts Lynch. out to Keisha. So in the, in the promoter space, yeah. um, is there ego? Are you guys working together? Are you guys competing against each other? Because I feel as an outsider living here in the West Coast, that we suffer from an ego issue. Okay. Do Ooh, we, I know, but how much ego will stop us from coming together? That mm -hmm. depends on the individual. You do know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So in your situation right now, um, a lot of these names that you mentioned, are they the other, the next generation? Are they before us? Are they with us? Uh, are you mentoring the next ones? Are you open to mentoring? the younger generation that wants to come in and say, how are you doing it? Teach me how to do it. Are you open to do that? Okay, first and foremost, you just asked me a few questions. Yes, sir. Um, are the people who I'm shouting out, uh, who are they? And uh, mm -hmm. they are definitely my peers, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they are my peers, and I am actually looking forward to working with uh, each and every one of them uh, in the very near future. So be on the lookout for that mm -hmm. uh, with O Love, Michelle Left Right. Uh, I heard of her. You know, mm -hmm. shouts out to BLW. Raquel's Jazz Lab. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, uh, just working with uh, uh, Ambition, DJ uh, DJ D'Amico, DJ Lynx, uh, DJ Double Time, uh, George, LA, Dre, LA, yeah. LA Dre. You know, all these different uh, individuals all coming together as a collective and all working together with the common I, goal. I want us to do that. I'm, I'm a supporting that. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely also, supporting that. Uh, also, you have, uh, like, you go to Los Angeles, the promoters already do that. And mm -hmm. and this is one thing that Big D would always talk to me about. RJ, it's uh, it's 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 your voices don't pull them together. Mm -hmm. So that's what he used to say. So uh, there is no ego in me. I'm very mm -hmm. humble. Mm -hmm. And it's not about, uh, it's not about the money. It's about the the currency of each other and just networking oh, pulling man. things together because if your child comes in the door or your little cousin comes in mm -hmm. and they're related to you they're not related to me and i got to take care of the people you know what i'm saying yeah, that's so, a healthy business attitude so, am I, so to answer your like other that. question mm -hmm. like your other question am i uh open to a mentoring i already do you know mm -hmm. people that actually reach out to me and have that uh, conversation that they know that i'm uh, about uh, uplifting putting positivity into their mind, what type of uh, audio books to listen to, what tools do I use, how do I, uh, how do I network, what's most effective, how do you save your time, uh, you know, how do you manage these things, because we all do a lot, mm -hmm. you know, I also trade uh, currency, Yeah, I trade currency a lot, I'm in the Forex market, my company is uh, uh, BFX, mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin meets Forex. Really? Uh, yes. So, uh, wait, is that the same as cryptocurrency? Is it different than Bitcoin? Bitcoin cryptocurrency? Okay. Break it down for me. So, when you talk about cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, uh, there's thousands of different coins that are still being created to this day. Uh, Bitcoin, the most popular one, is cryptocurrency. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, what my uh, our counterparts, shouts out what Wynn was saying. Uh, what we do is we teach a collective of people uh, how to put money in the market, not giving it to anyone, but taking your dollars, opening up your own account and showing them how to grow their dollars uh, with compounding interest. If you guys don't know about compound interest, you go to compounddaily.org, okay? Mm -hmm. And with compounddaily.org, you'll put the, the, uh, the, uh, the dollar amount that you start with. Uh, what we do is we teach people how to grow their account by 3% daily. 3%. Mm -hmm. You grow by 3% uh, without the weekends. And what I love is trading uh, the Dow Jones. Mm. Everybody hears about the Dow Jones, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're watching the news. You hear sports, weather, stocks, right? Uh, the Dow Jones is, is the top 30 companies in the United States. Okay. And, they, it, and it moves very 
fast at certain times of the day. Uh, but my job is to grab 30 points per day, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and that way I'm able to grow my account by 3%. You mm -hmm. grow by 3%, you can take a $500 uh, account for the novice mm -hmm. and grow up by 3% daily on compound interest. Um, you can grow over six figures in a year. Is that the, okay. is that the minimal you want to use is 500? Oh, no. I mean, that's the minimum, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, technically, like, you, if, you, if you're, you're just put, starting off if, and you're trying to learn it, if you put, five, look, look, if yeah. you put the more money in, 3%, obviously, is going to yeah. equal bigger. Absolutely. You, you understand? Absolutely. Yeah, so 3% is the cap, but it depends on how much you put in, that's right. what your return is. So, you know, my cap is 500. <laughs> what's right. the risk? Yeah, that, I mean, what's the risk? 500. <laughs> That's the risk. <laughs> if I lose five, then I can walk away. But if I put 10 k down at three percent, you're in the math. I'm looking for Mr. Dow Jones. If my money don't come through, right? But so, so this is uh, this is one thing that I look at, right? Uh, first thing is uh, being uh, disciplined mm. and not over leveraging. You ever been to Sam Manuel or Yamaba, whatever it's called mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. uh, you go up there and you have. Uh, so you have a thousand dollars, and you start playing uh, hundred dollar hands or a uh, five hundred dollar hands. Mm -hmm. You only play two twice. Yeah, you're done, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say if you uh, have a thousand dollars, you're playing twelve dollars a hand. You can play a lot longer. No, no. True Same that, thing. That, so the true risk that. is so the risk is um, longevity versus absolutely. So it's not no pump and dump. It's not no, no. flipping. It's nope. a long term <laughs> investment nope. type of thing. Absolutely. Um, how long would you say for a young person or any person to jump into the market and set their mind up saying, this is going to be a long haul? How do you turn people? Because everybody wants to flip a buck. Well, first thing I do is, first thing I do is um, I would uh, start with a demo account. Mm. You What's start, a demo account? A demo account is where you have a, a fan of money. It's just an account with X's and zeros that says a, a dollar amount. Once you start with there and you start to learn how to jump in and out of the market then when you feel comfortable with it then you go ahead and say okay i'm going to take slow steps remember fast cash fast crash so Ooh. you want to move slow and when it's in blue which is profit it's on you when it's in blue it's on you so you question question how come we just don't give you the money to flip because I'm not going to be responsible for your dollars. Man, I, but, I, I know hey, you. I know you. I, I mean, we can split the, you know, <laughs> split the difference. I just don't want to. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, this, this. Uh, I know we got to move to the next topic, but this is mm -hmm. one thing that I, that I learned. Um, yeah, I can give you a fish today, mm -hmm. and you'll eat today. Yeah. But if I teach you how to fish, they say that you'll eat forever. Just you, though. Oh. But. But if you're but, following well, hold on, hold on, on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if I teach you how to uh, hold on to this intellectual property, mm. now you'll be able to buy the pond so your children's children can eat forever. See? Okay. Math. That's mathematics. Yeah. That's mathematics. I appreciate that because I'm losing my A in the market right now. I have like <laughs> I have like two shares of this, two shares of that, and it's going man, under. Yeah, look man. at the top thirty. <laughs> the, look at the top thirty companies in the United States. When the market goes up or down, we we get the market. We get it. So it's it's okay. It's it's all right. Last night I I did my thirty points, and I was cool. Uh, I was driving home from a nightclub. I was driving home, and I hit. I put my trades on when I was in a club. Mm -hmm. Like literally, mm -hmm. I know how to trade. I have intellectual property. Okay. See, 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 that's, 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 what that's what's up. That's real money where you're making money, sleeping. That's the definition of actually a business. Mm. You know. Yeah. So yeah. then, what I'll do is I'll take the money from there. Uh, you know, of course, they'll pay you out in crypto, which is Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and then you can afford an artist, and you'll have these artists up there. Mm -hmm. You know. Quick question: What we was on break? Cosmo was asking you the funnest, best uh, act that you brought out here. Uh, uh, you know, the most, you know, the easiest to work with, the most that brought you in. What was your take on that? You said Buster? Well, uh, we did Buster Rhymes was in Vegas Oops. with Jamal and JMP. But here at the mm -hmm. Mink Champagne Lounge, mm -hmm. oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh man. The best one, the best artist. Name <sighs> Give me a name. Sugar free. Oh, okay, what? okay, okay. You know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That brother's still drunk. He, he's, he mostly jaded because it's Pomona. 
Is that the truth or is this Pomona love going on here? I don't know, but truth? he had the fastest wedding you ever seen in your life. He was married for two months. <laughs> hey, shouts out, hey, shouts out to shouts out to Dewan. You know, Sugar Free, what's up, bro? So check this out. With Sugar Free, uh, he uh honestly he's a godly man. Young Sugar man. Free? No. Hey, real talk. You know? what, what makes yeah, him a godly man? No, he's uh, in some. Hey, he's in hey, some. Yeah. The conversations we had, he's 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 a one of my book. Mm -hmm. He's a godly man. Period. Okay. You know, he he has his uh, his genre of art, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. hey, we all we all are higher source. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, he his show was phenomenal. He performed the longest of all the other artists. Hey, he had a forty five minute set. Bye. He had other uh, other. Uh, oh, he got yeah, bars. He got yeah, bars. other performers oh. with him. Oh. He actually let me sing one of the tracks with him too. Oh, oh man, man, that's what's up. I could be on my way. I see it right there. That was the song right there. And um, the next other artist would have been uh, second would have been. Uh, mm -hmm. Maya. Whoa. Maya. Oh my goodness. Maya, she is so hospitable. But between her and uh, uh, Walapale, they were both like, for like cousins. Like, they were still like, good. So, so, so the, it was the, Maya the energy was good. Yes. yes. That's what's up. Yes. It was not no Hollywood energy. More than just looking good, her spirit was like, mm. like she, you know, she was cold. She was like, yeah, she has a little. I know some power. She got staying power. I was like, I said, I know somebody for you, girl. Like, I, I'm gonna introduce my homeboys. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. So what? It's not. It's not me or you, right? Nah, I'm married. No, I'm married. Yeah, I gotta get that little Kim. If little Kim looked at me, I'm like, yeah, but I don't think I can change. I wouldn't change little Kim for my girl. Oh yeah, I'm seeing daddy. It's little Kim, but little Kim, I didn't get to interact with her because why? Because the NDA. You know, uh, there are certain deals that we worked out for working artists. Explain. Uh, what does that mean? Non disclosure agreement. You know, you can't talk to them, you can't touch them, you can't. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, whatever the contract stipulates, you can't do it. I mean, we have to actually have to take all our Reach cameras out. Uh -huh. We have to take all our cameras out, everything. So if someone had like their video camera on their phone, they captured it, cool. Like, oh, it was like our professional, like, yeah, Jimmy Wine. Shout out to Tank two, like, yeah. and the guys so, always then, show up. They always show out. They like, take pictures with oh everybody. Oh did same with John B. Shouts out to you, so you know, and his uh, lovely wife. You know, they were good people. You know, uh, I did not know that that, that certain celebrities have these type of stipulations. Yeah, like you know, Ashanti she won't. Ashanti really won't uh, do a lot of mingling as well. She's like, no, no. no. Like Nelly and Ja Rule, they was like, come on, yeah, you know, like a baby. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know? Like a baby. <laughs> well, the little kid don't like up close pictures. That's why she she has that. She has a, hey, but hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on. I didn't know. I didn't know. Hold on. I didn't know. 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 I have to beg a different little Kim was little Kim was uh, very classy. She wasn't on uh, she wasn't Hollywood, she just doing what the contract said. That was it. So it was cool. But hold on, but but Faith Evans, that's my girl. Shouts out to you, Faith. Faith Evans. Shouts out to you. Yeah, yeah. Faith Evans is dope. Yeah, I yeah. love her. She was cool. She was good to my wife. <laughs> let her, let her, you know, gave the mic to my wife while she was singing the song. Here, finish the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you, know, so you got some looky looky that night, then. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about <laughs> hey, hey, oh, yeah. I would expect some little looky looky. Knocking over, knocking over. What? What? Uh, you know. Good shot. Hey, I um, mean, hot topic before we get out of here. Um. We had, I see, oh, I heard on the way home something about Epstein. You familiar with the Epstein? He got caught up with, um, what's his name? Elon Musk. Okay. Now, Elon Musk is a guy that I like. That African, I like him. Yeah, he's African, you know. Yeah. He's Caucasian African. Yeah. But, no, it, you know. I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah. But, <laughs> I don't think it is like how the uh, the media is framing it. Like he was down with Epstein, it was some money. But my question to the panel here is, how much money would it take for you to roll with Epstein? 
Like, understanding, like, this how that it. cat rolled. That's a crazy question. What is your morals <laughs> and your dollars? Would you ever roll with him, knowing what he did? Because he has a Man. list that is... That's, that's a you hard... Go for, you want to go first? I'll go first. That's a hard question to answer because... Do you see how many people got caught up because of XT? Nobody got caught up. Only one girl. Well, and the that list got longer and longer yeah. as the story went on. Okay. So, I mean, because Chris Tucker, I will, is guy see, 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 I, I, mean, I do, uh, 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 that, see, uh, that's, that that is, see, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I would have to, I, me personally, I'm going to have to cancel Chris if he's on the list. Well, he's on it. He's up there with, uh, with, uh, what? Bill Gates? Bill is on the list. Bill. Bill. Clinton. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He can hang out with the dude, but. Nah, they was at the party. No, wait, they wait. were on the island. They was on the island. They was on the island. Yeah, the plane. Yeah, yeah. The plane. Not yeah. Mr. Tucker. Yes, nah, yes, yes. He was the only black person on the That's island. That's why he went gospel. He <laughs> went he went Christian after that when the stuff came out. Yes. Oh no, right, no, yes, no, yes. no, no. So what's your take? Yes. No. Give it to us. There is no way I will compromise mm -hmm. my soul or my spirit to taint my uh my lineage because let's say if I do something wrong, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And it's done in the dark. Yeah. No one ever knows about it. Not a person. You know what God would do? He would make sure your children's children would feel it. Mm. Because this thing is so called a uh, yeah, gener generational, <laughs> generational curses. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've been. Uh, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. You say generational curses versus generational wealth is an equal sins opposite of the type of What are you talking, yeah, about? Yeah, you talking yeah. about, man? So, uh, that was this, uh, this person that I, that I, that I, uh, that I study, right? And this person, uh, has other siblings, um, that person that did wrong in the dark, all of his lineage, all have children out of wedlock and they all and all the men have to pay child support. Every single one of them, but all of his siblings that did right, all of their family tree of doctors, lawyers, uh, high level positions, uh, mm. just fruit for my, so um, the, Karma's with, a real thing. With, real. Uh, with, uh, with, you know, with this natural discernment and prayer and just understanding how life works, it's because of decisions of uh, of other people that affect everyone else in front of you. And sometimes it just can't be broken until it's acknowledged and you're and you're broken from it. Mm -hmm. It's got to pray over it and make sure that it's not broken from your spirit. Okay, I'm so, gonna give you ten million dollars to change that view. Yeah. No, no, okay, no. Uh, hundred million. Mike, no. you take the ten million. Talk? Let me tell you why. Hell Let no. me tell you why. Money's not real. People <laughs> My wife are. Allow it. Keep going. <laughs> Money's not real. People are. It's the currency Ooh. of people. Currency of people. Money is not real. Money is money is not. Please. Money comes and goes. Money comes and goes. Please. Okay, we can make some more money, but not a good person. So your your inside would say, yeah, I can't roll with that. So would you if? The Epstein character was a real friend of yours. Would you pull him to the side and say, yo, bro, what you doing? You're supposed to. Mm. And I learned from personal experience. I was a young man. I was a young man. Still a young of, man. And one of my buddies had slept with a married woman. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and being a young person, you think it's cool. Man, yeah. good job. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Start to dig down and ask some more questions. The dude was, uh, she was married to a cop. Nope. And it was in his house. Nope. And then all of a sudden things start going wrong in my life. Mm. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? I had to go home and do some personal Bible study, open up my Bible, start reading the passages. And what God was telling me in that scriptures were what I accept from other people. And I, and I, when I'm supposed to be correcting them, and if I'm going ahead and accepting that and cheering them on, this is just as bad as me doing it. Oh, oh. see, 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 that so, hurts right there. That hurts right so, there. Basically. So you can't just turn a blind eye. You actually you have, have to, to say, say something. something. Oh my God! Have to. If it's not right, you just nah. You can't. You can't do it. You can't your conscience get you like that all the time for everything. Say again. I say your conscience always works on you like that for everything. We all have that, and if we don't pay attention, it's the. I'm saying you pay attention to it every time in that, in that situation. I have to. Well, you know what? Have to. Your brother, man. You, you have to. Him. I mean, this is moth and uh, lion, right? Have you heard the story of the moth and lion? The moth yeah. and the line, no, the mouse and the line, but keep going. Okay, What's so that? sometimes God will come to you, right? Mm -hmm. And he'll start talking to you. God is a gentle guy, right? And he'll just talk to you. And we'll be like, hey, hey, and we see what happened. We see a, a fly or a moth or a butterfly. You just shoot sure away. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. God is like, hey, dog, I'm just trying to holler at you. Mm -hmm. Right? And then 
He's like, okay, I ain't gonna kill you, but I'm gonna bite you like a lion. I'm gonna snatch your arm off. I'm gonna take your house, take your wife, take your job, take all the things that you feel as as, as us men. You know the things that, that makes us that makes us men provide. You know the three three P's: provide, protect, and proclaim. Right? Yeah. And if you can't do that, like, damn, I'm I'm not up on my game. Okay. And you have to actually listen to God. And if you're not listening, he gonna come as a lion and bite you. So let him just come as a moth and just talk to you. So you gonna be yeah. gentle. Okay, I'm cool. okay. Mm. I love that. I love that. I love mm. that. Um, what you said. It, yeah. yeah. Uh, what you uh, said about. Would you rather have a no, moth or a lion? No, you know what you said about the lion, did you hear the story today about the guy getting his arm chewed off by the crocodile? Yeah, yeah. it's to the moth. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. He wasn't listening. Right. He wasn't listening. All right. So we're coming up close to the hour. But before we get out of here, I know you got a birthday coming up. What's going on, B? Man, oh, this Friday night at the mm -hmm. Big Champagne Lounge is going down. Mm -hmm. I've got the. Uh, Ultimate duo RB group, uh, Rough Ends performing live. Mm. Also, at VH1, it's going to be in the building. Uh, the Black up? Ink crew is oh, going to be in yeah. the building. Uh, there are a few other uh, uh, A list and B list celebrities that I have personally confirmed with mm -hmm. uh, that will be here. Because I don't have them on contract, I have the liberty of not speaking about that. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. But uh, I mean, really, besides the entertainment, um, and other people that I do have uh, to follow up with to make sure that they'll be in attendance. Uh, just hundreds of beautiful friends and family That's up, that are going to come out and celebrate uh, in all white. And all white is not mandatory, but I would appreciate if some of you guys did. You can find me online on uh, Instagram, RJ Polo Man, or you can Google RJ Polo Man slash Eventbrite and find the uh, uh, pre sale tickets. Uh, Cosmo and Mike Flex, so, so, we be at so, me? Can we so, get in? So, do you, have any, white? do you have any Caucasians naked? Will you allow them in? <laughs> they're, all, they're wearing them all white. No? Okay, my bad. I'm that was kind of racist. <laughs> no, nah, you know I'm saying. I'm <laughs> I'm opening, the door. I'm opening the door for everybody. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, it ain't that type of party, man. Nah, nah. That, that, I heard about those type of parties. Not, not here. Not in Ontario. They ain't gonna have it. No, not in Ontario. You brought naked white people to your event. Yeah. All white party. That's wrong. Right. Why not? I love it. I love um, it. Cosmo. Also, <laughs> Jesus is in the building. All right. Um, also, Cosmo, you got something going on this weekend. Yes, yes. What do you got going on? Memorial Day weekend jam in Palm Springs hosted by Cosmo. Who's that? Oh, man. <laughs> Put on by Mickey Brown, which we had on the show. James Brown's last daughter. Last week. Um, yeah, last week she was oh, fantastic. Big shout out to Mickey. Do you know she Mickey Brown? made us look okay. good. We're going to connect well, What you. day is that? Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday. It's a whole weekend. Whole more day weekend. Okay. Uh, Mickey we Brown yeah. is uh, James Brown's daughter. Okay. Yeah. And she lives in, uh, she resides in Palm Springs, mm -hmm. so she's local. And yeah. You, you know, guys I, definitely I, I, would need to connect. I know. The days that I, I'm doing my, my event on Friday. Um, and she's got clubs, casinos. Yeah. And I'll be, I'm a host. I'm hosting at the, a day party on the 27th mm -hmm. at Raquel's. Okay, cool. That's cool, right. cool. I'm, I'm a night there too at Rock Hill. Yeah. So I'm, I'm oh, big there. shouts out to Keisha and Pat and Rock Hill Jazz Club. Is there anything for, any theme for that particular night? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually a day party. Oh, it's okay. going to be uh, gentlemen wear your sunglasses like you got on, okay. and ladies wear your sundresses. Flex vision. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And um, and then Sunday, uh, I know Pat and Cha Cha's having an all black event. Mm -hmm. And then I can make Shouts out to Pat and Cha Cha. And then I can go to your event on I own a Cunningham. Oh, man. So that's it. Uh, yeah, we got a whole weekend lined up. We're running up on the hour. Uh, this is Mike Flex, Cosmo on Casual Conversations. I got RJ Polo Man in the building. Yeah. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Just Google us and uh, subscribe. Get in contact with us and become part of the team. Adios, amigos. I enjoyed y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was just fun. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. Super so, dope. So, uh, The categories are very broad.